What's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Sensorman and welcome to the channel. So you made it to part three. We are gonna get this car on the ground. So where we left off in part two was we finished wiring up and we did a first test of the system. And I showed you guys basically the final assembly, at least what I thought was the final assembly. Now, after looking at it a little bit, I decided that where I had mounted or where I had drilled the holes first wasn't going to work due to this interior trim panel, which I didn't think about. So if I was to go and push this all the way in where this is, it's right there. So what I did is I moved them over further, basically almost parallel with the end, the bottom of these vents. So because right here is what sits against that. So if you think about it, there is going to be plenty of room for it to budge a little bit. So please heads up if you saw that in the first video or the second part two, whatever you want to call it. Please take that into consideration when you're doing yours. I know other people do it up here, but my insulation would have been in the way and I would have had to drill through that. Again, there's planning, there's a lot of things you don't take into consideration when things aren't there. Now, today I wanna to show you the final. We did the airline for the front. There's a factory tab here for some reason. So we just kinda, it's a loose zip tie so it's not got any pressure on it. We went up over, it's tucked behind this, came down, we use this another factory tab to zip tie. And then you can see we got this just hanging. This all should be tucked behind the wheel well. It goes up and in. There are grommets in there to protect the airlines. We did the same thing on the other side. Basically, tab up and over. You can see this is hanging out a little bit. So when I get the wheel well in there, it should hold it out of place, in place, however you wanna consider that. Same zip tie both feeding out from there. We've got the front. We already put the wheel wells in and I'm really pleased with the fact that I painted that area black. But we've got this in there and I'm fairly certain in the last video it showed where I put that line. I can't even think of the word right now. The line holder or whatever. <laughs> it's been a long week. So we're going to get the wheel wells in. I'm going to then get this interior all done, put back together, show you guys the final product and hopefully everything fits into place. Everything is covered and hidden in there. Then we are going to play with the PSIs because we've got the controller in there where it needs to be. And we're going to get it on the ground at the end of this video. Um, well, spoiler, it will be on the ground, but it'll be on the ground on my stock 20s, not the 22s, because I need to roll the fenders and I'm not doing that till Sunday and today is Thursday evening. So all the test fitting and everything is going to be on the 22s, not on the 22s. All the test fitting is going to be on the 20s. We'll check clearance because I'm fairly certain that 22s aren't gonna work, but we will find out at the end of this video. So let me get to work. Wheel wells, trunk, get all that together, show you that product and we'll get it on the ground. The interior trim is almost done. Everything is in, tested these lines. They do not hit against this. There's plenty of room. I'm like showing you guys in the dark right here. So there's plenty of room where it curves. I got a tear right there. Anywho, um, I didn't show you guys in the last video that I trimmed all the airlines down and zip tied them all to size. Showed that this is still coming out in a good spot. Same with this one. I'm blocking the light. Coming out in a good spot right here behind this cover. We've got all the lines ran good. Now the only thing left is 
this main piece right here. So, oh, and this piece, of course. And then the truck's done. And everything's gonna be hidden, which I'm really super happy about. And then we'll move on to the wheel wells. We are 100% in the trunk. Everything clears. Everything is hidden. I still have 100% of my trunk. And that is exactly what I wanted for my temporary setup. Now onto the wheel wells. All right, so don't mind the dirty wheel well, but if you look right here, this wheel well has an opening just perfect where I had this zip tied to go in between that lip. Like that's, I couldn't have planned that better if I wanted to. So that's a happy accident. All right, now if we get under here and look, we can see that the lines aren't in bind anything they're closer to the frame right there and this is literally as far as it's gonna go it's not rubbing perfect and then I don't know if you can see all the way up in there it's just gonna be sitting right on top of the wheel well so unless something protrudes through this wheel well it shouldn't have any binding it's just sitting right on top going over this if you remember if you rewind the video and I'll show you this side. Uh, you can see that it's coming out and then going straight up, which again, doesn't look like it's binding on anything going up in there. So, flashlight's on. So we're gonna get this wheel well all snugged up and do the other side. It's gonna go the same process, so I'm not gonna show you guys the where the line's sitting because it should be sitting perfect as well. And if it's not, then I'll show you guys what issue there is and what we need to address. So I don't think there's gonna be any problems. Now, getting close. So everything is ready. Wheel wells are on. As you can see, I just set the Stock 20s up there, lug nuts are not on yet. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the lug nuts on, get it put on the ground, then I'll set the phone up somewhere, and we're gonna get the first layout, guys. So I hope you guys are as excited as I am. Okay guys, so we got the PSIs close to where we want them. I'll show you what the ride height looks like. So, this is about close to what I was before. I went ahead and wiped down the wheels. You know, we couldn't have dirty wheels while I'm showing you guys. So what I'm gonna do is probably post the camera up about right here. I think right here is good. Let me go get a stand and then we are going to lay it out. Okay guys, moment of truth, let's go lay it out. that rear. Woo! This was worth the wait. <laughs> I, I can touch, I can touch the roof. It's a, 
getting down in there is, man. So let's look at some clearance we got. So, yeah, you can't tell. So this is actually rubbing on the wheel well a little bit. It's pushing it up. But as far as clearance, I've got plenty of room for these. So rear as well. Sorry for the light. Let's see if I can block that light. Nope, can't do it. Um, same with the rear. I can literally, got a pretty nice gap back here actually, but same thing, it's pushing up on the wheel well. But it's tucking hard. These stocks tuck really nice. Oh yeah, that's that money shot. Whoo, so I think I'm gonna end it on that note because uh, I'm gonna go test drive it. Try to get a little bit of a feel for it, see where I want the PSIs, do all that. Again, this is all gonna be temporary because I still gotta get the 22s on, which should be, today's Friday, Sunday. Sunday I'll be rolling the fenders. Monday I might put the tires on, so we will get that recorded for you guys to keep you updated. That, I'm gonna sit down. Because that right there, that is a look of success. I'm 100% happy that I did this almost by myself. You know, Craig's always giving me a hand. But, you know, doing it in the garage on my own, uh, first install, I've never done it right before, guys. I mean, I had a bag Silverado, but I didn't do the install. So, I'm really happy with myself. Um, don't want to toot my own horn or do any of that stuff, man, but this is a this is a milestone this is really something i've been looking forward to um i'm not the best diy youtuber so forgive me if y'all watch these videos and you're not happy with them i apologize but i'm doing the best i can with what i know how to do and i hope you guys like this video there's going to be much much more to come if you like this video man give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and hit that bell for notifications because there's more content coming soon. And I thank you and I appreciate all of you. <laughs> I appreciate all of you who watch this. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.